Hi, I'm Reverend Diane from Unity of Naples, and this month we are focusing on faith. Faith. Sometimes it's straight up and we get it, you know, like, yeah, I got my faith right on, I'm here, I'm completely present. Sometimes it's kind of sideways because we feel a little fear, we feel some doubt, and we start to sink like the proverbial rock that Peter represents as the disciple, Simon Peter, who sometimes went into his, oh my gosh, the world is collapsing mentality. And Jesus asked him as Simon Peter, who do you say I am? And Simon Peter said, you are the son of the living God. And in response, Jesus said, and I tell you that you are Peter. He dropped the Simon. He completely dropped the old story about Simon being this guy who sinks instead of floats on the surface of life. He dropped away that aspect of Simon Peter and he said, you are Peter. You too are. You are, is the teaching of Jesus. It's the teaching that you and I are the sons and daughters of the living God and that we have the kind of faith in us that we need to direct very clearly because with God, all things are possible. That kind of rock is a solid foundation in our consciousness, in your consciousness, in my consciousness. And we follow scripture in that way. We are no longer than disciples, followers, you know, of the teacher. We are, in fact, the messengers who take the teaching out into the world. And that's what you and I are here to be, apostles, and to live that with our thoughts, our words, and our actions. The color of faith is blue, and so you, when you get around that, you might feel into your faith to say, what am I putting my faith in? You know, Am I rising above? Am I able to walk across the situation and stay calm? Remember I'm the son and the daughter of the living God, or am I sinking and like, going, oh no, what's taking place? This is very applicable today. It is so applicable this week. It's the inaugural week. You and I need to inaugurate this faith inside us and know that what is taking place is happening so that we'll stand up. It's happening so that we'll feel the peace of God. We'll be loving with each other. We'll live the golden rule in our lives. That's what's taking place. Luke 5, 4 says, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Have expectation. Put down your nets, but not just in the shallow water. Go on out into the deep where you haven't yet applied your faith. Go on out there. It's okay. The water's fine. And that place, go down into the unexplored aspects of yourself and find the Lord of your being. Expect to catch that wondrous nature of yourself and apply it in every way. Have a glorious week as you live into your faith this day. Thank you, God. Bless you.